Okay, hopefully that's working. Um, relatively new to the world of YouTube, so um, welcome back. Thanks for tuning in. Um, today we're going to do a little tutorial um, on um, fire lighters. So we're getting geared up for going out again after lockdowns eased up, and um, an old an old sort of trick um, was to get some cotton wool balls, melt some wax. Um, so we're going to do that. So I've got lots of like old candles sitting about. So um, we're going to melt some wax. You need to be really careful with this. Um, I've got my old stove there. Um, so we're going to melt some wax and basically soak the cotton wool ball into wax. Um, and you dip it in and let it dry and then dip in the other side. Um, so it becomes completely sealed in wax. And then when you want to come and use it, you cut it open a little bit, exposing some of the cotton inside. Um, and then it should take a spark um, or certainly it'll take um, a lighter. So really straightforward and simple because I was looking on eBay and Amazon and you're spending like, you know, four or five pound on fire lighters. Um, whereas this is a really good alternative. You have to make sure it's 100% cotton because um, you get different cotton balls that have got different sort of materials in it. Also be really careful when you're um, cooking up the wax because it's really flammable. Um, ideally, you should probably have um, have that pot in a bucket of boiling water um, or boil water and, and put the pot in the water and do it that way. Um, but it's really melting, starting to smoke. It will, it will ignite because of the wax. Take off the heat, give it a shake around. Um, it's really starting to melt nicely. So I'm going to switch that off in a minute. Um, in one of my other videos, I'm going to um, review the, the Coleman dual fuel um, that I'm using just now. It's an old thing, but it's been brilliant. It runs on petrol, diesel and stove fuel. So um, well ventilated in, in here in the, in the shed. So it's fine to use. It's almost all melted. Um, so old wax, cotton ball, dip in both sides so it's waterproof so again if you get cut caught in the rain um, it'll be waterproof when you open it up and it should take a flame so we're going to try and do that so I'll switch that off just now be really careful I'll pop it pop it down for a minute that's it um, so cotton wool ball into the wax um, let it dry on one side and then let it soak in, let it dry, let it soak in, let it dry and then once it's dried a bit um, you put it back into the wax and do the other side so it becomes sealed. This was ones that I made last week. Um, old pink candle from Christmas, I think it was, and this. So that's pretty sealed. Um, so what we'll do is we'll, we'll go out and try and um, ignite it. You need to. It's really hard. Almost too hard. Let's see if I can cut it. Yeah, boy, sir. There's 
a bit of cotton in there. I'm going to go straight onto the lighter. Luckily it's quite still tonight. So once the wax starts to melt, to cut it open let's see do that way do that way so open some of the I guess probably too too soaked in the wax melt some off Go on. Gentle. That's it. That will go for ages. And just start to build up around it. I find cones are really good because of the the resin. I'll take the cones. It's you now. Perfect. Cheap alternative to a little fire lighter. Because because of the wax it will burn for four or five minutes, giving you enough time to um build it up a little bit. So now there you have it, there's the the cheap and easy fire lighter. Hope you've enjoyed today. Like and subscribe if you want a bit more. Take care.